Today I'm going to travel through a million blocks in Minecraft in search of the craziest glitches in the glitchiest seed in the world of Minecraft. Because you know I love them glitches. Well, it's all over the internet by now. It's basically a seed where everything just repeats due to some, I guess, some kind of little glitch on the code. I'm not a programmer, have no idea how it works, but what I do know is how to find really cool stuff. With a seed like this, basically everything just repeats. The same pattern, the same mine shafts, the same dungeons, the same ravines, it's insane. But not everything is the same. You'll find different biomes, you'll find different villages generating here and there. And I'm here to find out if there's anything super awesome that we can find on this already ravaged seed. I mean, pretty much everyone online has pretty much posted a video about this already, but let's try and take a different angle and see if we find something cool. Can somebody please help me with this bedrock bug, by the way? I have no idea why I'm wearing this colorful uniform. We're about 10,000 blocks away from spawn now, and Here's something pretty cool. Here's something pretty cool. Let's go up and as you can see, check this out. There's this little lake. Looks super awesome. It's just hanging on top of that ravine surrounded by bamboo jungle left and right. Look at that. That's really cool. There's even a jungle uh, pyramid right over there. I mean, come on. If this was a spot in real life, like this little spot to swim in on top of a crazy ravine with lava underneath and bamboo jungle surrounding you, definitely a spot that I'd like to visit. We are now 20k blocks in, guys, and have a look at this. Have a look at this. Rivers and then shattered savannah being split in half. I mean, this world, it's, it's basically a world being split in two by this massive repeating ravine. I mean, I wouldn't mind making a survival world on a, uh, on a seed like this. It's sort of a telling story of what the world might become if the tectonic plates... Uh, hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm, I'm no geologist. I wouldn't know. But what I do know is this is an awesome spot. And you guys know I love shattered savannas. And having one split into like that, awesome. awesome. And we do have a village over there at the far corner. I can't zoom in. One more over here. This is a really cool spot. Let's keep searching. And it's uh, probably worth noting that they don't always split. So if there's water on top or something else you won't really have this divide. We're now 40k blocks away from spawn and we have this awesome river going through the ultra ravine. That's what I'm going to refer to it from here on. Awesome spots to build all around, large flat plains area. Might be a good candidate for world building. Let's keep going. This is a cool spot as well. It's a, a little location where the river meets the edge of the ultra ravine. Nice plains area to build as well. This is a nice spot. Look, the river sort of goes around the ultra ravine. And yeah, why not? Why not? This is one of those cool spots. Here's another awesome location. Ultra ravine down here. Go up ahead. River going through the ravine and a village right there. Right next to that perilous danger. Wonder what these villagers are thinking. That guy especially. I mean, I wouldn't be standing here. No way in hell. Now here's something really cool, folks. This is an ultra ravine right underneath an ice spikes biome. As you can see, the ice spikes actually cross all the way down, mixing it up with all of the craziness going in the ultra ravine. Let's just go up a bit and have a good view of what's going on. There's the ice spikes and here's the ultra ravine. Also a really cool spot to build. I took a short detour from the ultra ravine because we found a mushroom biome that is right by a village. That's really cool. But <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to go 100k blocks away from spawn for this. Got a lot of videos on mushroom biome seeds on my channel, so be sure to check them out as well. After 150,000 blocks, we found the Ultra Ravine crossing paths with a Badlands biome. And this is the true definition of a Badlands biome. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. Love how this little lake is going on here. It meets that river on the other side and the, the, the water color is just totally different. I'm not sure why. Does it have to do with the depth of the water? Out of curiosity. Not really. Can anybody explain to me why why the watercolor is just totally different on one side and the other? Gotta say though, these Badlands and the Ultra Ravine is a really cool combo. We're about to cross the 200,000 block range, folks. That's a really long distance. Nice village here next to the Ultra Ravine. We have another one across. I don't think they have any means of getting to the other side over here. Pretty difficult. But one thing that's really cool, notice how these trees keep repeating all the way from this side well, I guess the infinity, just these trees, those two. And although I'm not gonna go underground, actually there's a zombie spawner that literally just repeats every few blocks underneath here, it's crazy. Okay, so at 200K blocks, exactly 200K, we found something really awesome. So finally, the Ultra Ravine crossed another ultra rare biome, which is the giant tree taiga biome, super rare. It's on par with Badlands. We've got a village on one side over here and also another one on the other side there. Awesome spot to build. Check it out. Check out that river going through the Ultra Ravine as well. Giant portal going on over here too. And if you already have your shaders enabled for bedrock mode, this spot will look awesome because with all these trees and the moon rays or sun rays going through, 
It just looks incredibly awesome. And this village ain't half bad either. It's a, it's a pretty huge village inside a giant tree taiga biome. Very rare. All right, let's move on. Let's look for more rare stuff. All right, this one's a treat. We've got a taiga village to the left side. And finally, the ultra ravine crossed path with a jungle biome. We also have a bamboo jungle out there in the background. I'll, I'll, I'll show you in a bit. But really cool river again going on over here with a waterfall going into the ultra ravine. Awesome combo. And in case you want confirmation, yeah, that's a bamboo jungle right over there. I'm really loving how there's this reoccurring waterfall going through this, just that spot right there. Fits the jungle theme really well. Oh, and the vines, the vines. It's worth checking out what happens when these vines actually grow all the way down. That looks really cool. In a jungle biome, the ultra ravine looks super lush. We've just crossed the 300k block range and I found a really cool zombie village over here with a river leading into the Ultra Ravine. The Ultra Ravine is splitting two different biomes here. The Plains biome and we've got a Taiga biome on the other side. Really cool lake right over here with another village sitting right next to the lake. I gotta say, these ravines look really, really trippy. trippy. It's not just the Ultra Ravine repeating, even the geodes. All these amethyst geodes are repeating on the same line. Oh, and what do you know? We've got an exposed stronghold as well at the same location. That's pretty insane. I was kind of hoping this stronghold would actually intersect with the Ultra Ravine, but not at this location, although it's actually supposed to be here somewhere. We're gonna look some more and hopefully we'll actually find a stronghold that intersects with the Ultra Ravine. All right, hang on a sec. How did I miss this earlier? We're now actually close to spawn. I mean, this is still reachable, even if you play fully in survival. Check out this village. Check it out, check it out. You've got a farmland at the worst possible location. I don't know why anybody would go wanna go farming here. The village is super cool. The village is super cool. Plains Village all the way up to the edge of the Ultra Ravine. Loving it. I have no idea how I missed this. Yeah, look at that. Love it, love it, love it, love it. By the way, I don't even know who to credit this seed for. I mean, repeating seeds have been on the internet for quite some time, but whoever found it, wow, good job. So check out these coordinates. Diamonds, right? Diamond, 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 diamond. Literally, it just repeats. It, same diamonds, same diamonds again. More, more, and yeah, I can, I can just keep doing this forever, but that is just, <laughs> that is just, I don't know. That's borderline cheating, to be honest. Anyway, enough diamonds. Let's look for more jewels on this seed. So we're halfway through our 1 million block journey. Awesome shattered savanna in the background. Lots of flakes. River going through the ultra ravine and then actually crossing back to the other side as well. And it crosses back into the ultra ravine again on that side. We've got a nice village right over there. And up ahead, one more village on that side. And this desert pyramid right over here is at a really cool spot. I mean, it's literally on top of that ravine. Let's have a look if it actually extends all the way down. And yes, it does. Check that out. That has got to be one of the tallest desert pyramids. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. How many blocks is that? I mean, this desert pyramid is 173 blocks high. That's got to be a record, right? I'm not sure. I'm sure they're taller ones, but this is insane. Plus the ravine, of course. And that waterfall sitting next to the pyramid. Yeah, that's a... That's an epic spot. All right, enough of that pyramid. Let's keep going. Let's keep searching. Very interesting shape going on here as the Ultra Ravine meets with an Ice Spikes biome and a village again. And we're just about to cross the 400k mark. Okay, village over here. We've just crossed 400k. And check out these Ice Spikes going all the way on top of the ravine. This is even longer than the one we found before. Check that out. That is super. It goes all the way. All the way. Look at that. That's that's insane. I decided to turn on the RTX shaders just for this ice spikes bit right here. Have a look at that. That's insane. This is the waterfall going down to the lava. It's it's sort of hard to tell. Look at those ice spikes. It's crazy. It looks so good. It looks so good. The lava is literally illuminating everything down here. This might be a really good seed to actually play on RTX, to be honest, just because, I mean, look at that glow. The glow coming out of the ravine is, it's intense. It's intense. I'm surprised these aren't melting, to be honest, but I mean, wow, wow. I might just stay on RTX just for a bit. Um, as soon as my PC heats up, I'll probably need to switch back. But yeah, look at, look, look at how everything just changed after the lava is starting to glow like this. The ravine looks so much more alive. Intense. It's raining on the lava. We're at a jungle biome. Things look pretty interesting. Man, RTX on Bedrock looks insane. We're just about to cross the half a million block and it's not just the amethyst geodes that are repeating. Even the sea corals are. See how it's illuminating that same path over and over again? That's really cool. And oh, oh, that's a nice touch. We've got an intact shipwreck next to the amethyst geode and some of the corals growing on the ship. Nice little touch. We've just crossed the half a million mark and here's a really interesting village. 
I mean, check it out. There's a structure from that village that actually generated on the other side of the ravine. So literally, might have been a full village here, but now, completely gone. Completely gone. All right, just a little more to go. All right, folks, look what I found. Just behind this river at the Mega Ravine. There we go. Pillager's outpost, smack down in the middle of the Ultra Ravine, and it's super tall. Half a million blocks away from home. Not sure how these foxes ended up on top of the Pillager's outpost, but definitely not a good predicament. I mean, heck, it's 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 not a good deal for anyone here. I mean, what what are you guys even trying to pillage? I mean, come on, come on. Like, you, there's literally nowhere to go. Almost at 600k blocks, this is a really nice looking village. It's a desert village partially in a taiga biome, with some nice rivers going through right next to the Ultra Ravine. Very dangerous spot to live. Nice little river going through as well, and nice little lake. I'm just assuming this is probably geothermal water. Must be a nice little warm swim. I mean, with all that lava underneath, it probably is. All right, did you see it? Did you see it? Yep, there's a jungle pyramid just hanging on one of the ultra ravines. It sort of looks like a face if you look at it from this side. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just had to. I just had to. Getting closer to the 1 million mark, this ultra ravine is, is basically a sector of different biomes right here. Plains, desert, taiga, and then on the other side, a river crossing separating the badlands on the other side. Pretty cool. And a double river crossing at this spot as well. Almost there, folks. Almost there. Yeah, that's trippy. All right, folks, so I did my math and we're basically done. We're basically done. We're, <laughs> this is one million blocks away from spawn. I think we found some pretty interesting things. The seed is glitchy as hell, but to be honest, I think it makes for some really interesting builds. Maybe you found a location that you really liked on one of these ravine spots. If you want, you can just teleport yourself to your favorite spot, go back to survival mode, and enjoy the seed. If you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great, and do stay subscribed. I'll see you guys at the next video. Masbro, signing out. Oh, and I forgot to mention via the laws of triangulation, 750k blocks on each axis, that's way more than a million. Or just about. Anyway, thanks for watching, see you guys next time.